Good morning, Year 6, and welcome to this, our final Wednesday morning arithmetic paper before we all head off back to school next week. I haven't had anybody contact me this week asking for um, help with any elements of arithmetic, um, so we're going to get straight on with the paper. However, of course, if you have got anything that you're not sure of or you've forgotten how to do with arithmetic, um, then next week you'll have a chance face to face with your teachers to go through things and to remind you of anything we've forgotten. But that said, no one's asked me for any booster lessons this week, so we're going to get straight on with the arithmetic paper. Here we go. Question 1. 18 multiplied by 6. Question 2. 142 multiplied by 5. Question 3. 1005 subtract 100. Question 4. 5.7 take away 0 0.1. Question 5. 6,673 plus 794. Question 6. 208 plus 500. Question 7. 2.6 take away 0 0.04. Remember, there's more num more digits in each one, so you line up the decimal points, not the digits. Line up the decimal points and put a placeholder in if you need to. Question 8. 7 times 9. Question 9. 7 tenths. Take away 1 tenth. Question 10. 7 times 3 times 6. Question 11. 4 cubed plus 3 squared. Can you remember what you do here? I would write that question out in full rather than trying to do it in my head if I were you. 4 cubed plus 3 squared. Question 12. 809.3 divided by 100. Now remember, we don't need to use bus stop method here. How do we divide by a 10, 100 or a 1,000? We move the number along the decimal point, don't we? And if we're dividing, the number is going to get smaller. Next question. Question 13. 7.01 times 1,000. The method is exactly the same as what I just said for dividing by 10, 100 or 1,000. No need for column multiplication here. Just move the number along the decimal point and this number is going to get bigger. Question 14. 1 8th plus 3 8th plus 7... Sorry, 1 8th plus 3 8th plus 3 8th. Question 15. 3,000 times 7. Question 16. Something equals 80,000 plus 9,014. Question 17. 1,320 divided by 11. You will need bus stop method for this and you'll need to write down your 11 times table. Question 18. 2, take away 0 0.22. In this question, you're going to need to add a decimal point in the right place for that 2, and then add some placeholder zeros. Once your decimal points are lined up, then you'll be able to subtract. Question 19. 25% of 1,640. Can you remember what fraction 25% is the same as? That might help you calculate it. Question 20. 1.241 multiplied by 5. That's 1.241 multiplied by 5. Question 21. 1,111 take away 999. 1,111 take away 999. 
you're going to need to do some exchanging there. Question 22, 3,993 divided by 6. Simple bus stop method. Question 23, 16.3 subtract 7.55. Line up the decimal points and add a placeholder if you need to. Question 24. 49 multiplied by 32. The column method has been laid out for you, but you need to remember to put something there. There's my clue. It's a two-point question. Question 25. 1 eighth times 3 fifths. Can you remember how we multiply fractions? <coughs> 1 eighth times three fifths. <clears throat> Pause now if you don't want help. That's right. We times the top, times the bottom, and simplify if we can. 26. 5,117 divided by 17. You're going to need to write your 17 times table. I wouldn't go too far down, maybe five or six off the top of my head, and see if you need to do more later. Remember, it will always um, there will be no remainders if we're dividing by a double digit in year six. Question twenty-seven. Four plus eight in brackets multiplied by five. Question twenty-eight. Three hundred and twelve thousand two hundred and twenty-seven take away eighty-seven thousand six hundred and fifty-three. Line those up, you might need to do some exchanging. Question 29. 3,091 multiplied by 45. Set out for you here. What are you going to put there? Question 30. That's a two-point question, by the way. Question 30. 9 times 3 and a third. 9 times 3 and a third. There's two ways you can do this. You can turn both numbers into fractions. Or you could say, what's 9 times 3? And what's 9 lots of a third? Or what's a third of 9? That's the same thing, same question. Add them together and you'll have your answer. Question 31. 2 and a half take away 1 and a quarter. If we... Adding or subtracting fractions, we must have the same denominator, mustn't we? So we need a number that 2 goes into and 4 goes into. Next question, 32. 2 ninths divided by 2. And we will remember that little takeaway restaurant that helps us to divide fractions. And question 33. Three tenths and seven eighths. Remember, add in fractions, we must have the same denominator. So what number is in the eight times table and the ten times table? Then once you put that as the denominator, whatever you did to the bottom, you have to do to the top. Question 34. 2,924 divided by 34. You're going to need to write your 34 times table down here. Take you a little while. Off the top of my head, I reckon you probably need to go to about maybe about eight lots. Yeah, maybe about eight. See how you get on. Question 35. Five six divided by four. Think of your tummy rumbling. What takeaway would you use? It's not a Mackie D's. Right, and finally, question 36. 55% of 420. It's been a while since we've done percentages, but if you can find 50%, and then you can find 5%, then you just add those two numbers together. And that's the end of the test. So we'll have the answers. Pause now if you don't want to see the answers. Last week I missed two answers out, so I'll have to make sure I go all the way down to question 21. So here we go. Question 1, 108. Question 2, 710. Question 3, 905. Question 4, 5.6. Question 5, 
7467. Question 6, 708. Question 7, 2.56. Question 8, 63. Question 9, 3 fifths or 6 tenths. Either will get you the right answer. Question 10, 126. Question 11, 73. Question 12, 8.093. Question 13, 7010. I'll scroll down to the bottom. Question 14, 7 eighths. Question 15, 21,000. Question 16, 89,014. Question 17, 120. Question 18, 1.78. Question 19, 410. Question 20, 6.205. And question 21, 112. Going back up. Question 22. 665.3. Or it's been very generous in letting you have 665 remain the 3. Question 23. 8.75. Question 24. 1,568. Question 28. 3 fortieths. Question 26. 301. And that's a two-point question. Question 27. 60. Question 28. 224,574. Question 29, 139,095. That's a two point question. Question 30, 30. Question 31, one and a quarter. Question 32, one ninth. Question 33, one and seven fortieths. Question 34, 86. It's a two-point question. I think I said you might have to go up to eight times table, didn't I? Question 35, 7 twenty-fourths. Sorry, question 35 is 5 twenty-fourths. That's 5 twenty-fourths. And finally, question 36, 231. Well, that's the end of today's test. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it and did well. Please record your scores, take a photograph and send it to your teachers and perhaps send it along with your previous scores to see the progress you've made. Next week we'll be doing Arithmetic Paper 7 and we'll be doing it in the classroom. We look forward to giving you lots of support there. Okay, take care everyone. Bye bye for now.